So when I was doing a live stream talking about organizing your digital life, one of the things I talked about was OneDrive. And someone in the chat, Brian, came on and said, here's what he said. He said, how do I get OneDrive to show in Finder for, my, for Mac? We have a small business using MS Online and we use Macs. So I'm like, hmm, I didn't have OneDrive installed. I am a OneDrive customer. I have O365, but I'm also a Google fan. So I predominantly use Google because it doesn't, it just, I've just always used it. I sold my digital soul to Google a long time ago. So that's why I use Google. But I'm like, hmm, I got to figure out what he's talking about. So I wasn't sure I understood what he was talking about. I, um, went to the Microsoft website and I downloaded um, one a OneDrive and it just acted insane. I have no idea why, but it didn't behave. It wasn't behaving, man. I don't know why. So I went to the App Store and I downloaded it from there. And when I installed it from there, it behaved. It did what it was supposed to do. And, you know, it then, if I go to Finder, I go here and there it is OneDrive I'll zoom in um, so there's OneDrive it's running and see so you'll see right here it's up here running it says all my files are synced and then um, then on Finder so if you look on the left side um, if it did like it did for me it put OneDrive right there so I can go there and see it and one of the things I recommend is that a lot of people forget you can do favorites here I can go and take this folder right here and drag it right here and then it'll automatically every time I click on it take me right to my OneDrive folder that I need for that particular purpose um, I and if you say you know what that's that's not the one I need you can remove that from the sidebar so if we go to the OneDrive and go settings and preferences we can go and find where it's actually writing to um, I have mine set to files on demand so it only downloads files I need them that saves a lot of disk space see right here my OneDrive is using 239 gig of disk space so if I keep them all up there download them as I need them yep we'll be online yep until next time I use them so that works out perfect for me and so you see this cloud right here that means they're in the cloud but they're not local if I were to say download this file, double click, it'll go through a process of downloading the file and landing it on my desktop. And then it will go and play it. I'm going to stop that because I think it's a song and I don't want the song to play. Give me a copyright strike. But anyway, so then it's downloaded local. Um, and later it may show like a green checkbox to show you that it's on, that it's local, but it's also backed up. And that's what you want. So that those are some things you could do to make OneDrive more productive for you. And that's my suggestion. Brian, if you're out there, send me a chat. Tell me. Or you can send me an email to hello at techtroublemaker.live. I would love to answer your specific questions about OneDrive. I'd love to help you on this. So feel free to send me an email. Or uh, you can just send me a, put me a message in chat and I'll reply back. So hope this video was helpful to Brian and to anybody else that might need it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. If you like this kind of stuff, hey, subscribe. Just subscribe.